telling you, it was funny. You had to be there. We were there. The waitress saying smanana boothie, not that funny. Whoa. Something seems different around here. You look like an animal that just sends danger. Let's hope this doesn't end with a lion lunching on his innards. Oh, no. It's not danger, I sense. Not danger at all. My, my Mom, how long has it been? This morning at breakfast. Wilder, I trust you fold your grades up. Amanda, let me see those earrings. Oh, did you pick them because they make your head droop? Uh, speaking of which, Rebecca, quit slouching. <laughs> Noah, maybe she's slouching because she's depressed about your hair. Isn't she great? Why do I get the feeling we're the ones in danger? Seriously, is it that bad? to drop off Michael's after-school snack. She offered to stay at home and organize my day planner. You're in good hands. A trade publication once named my mom one of their organizers to watch. I had to give it up when my Michael was born. When one dream ended, another began. Oh. <laughs> Everyone can benefit from a little extra organization. Exactly. Like, if Noah had been better organized, he wouldn't have missed that dinner we had two weeks ago. Shame on Noah. Well, showing up to dinner empty-handed isn't much better, dear. Looks like you got on the shame train one stop too early. Great grub, by the way. I love food I can eat with my hands. You were eating mashed potatoes. What say we get back to working on my day planner? Great idea. Can I come watch an artist at work? Oh, Michael, it's not art. It's a science. <laughs> Michael's mom is the best. I love her. Because of Mrs. D, my table manners have improved. My eating over the sink manners still need work. She makes me realize I should smile more when being brutally honest. What? This is asinine. Somebody has to tell Michael how pushy his mom is. No way, dude. Mothers before brothers. You can't say anything bad to a friend about his mom. You have to do the noble thing. Make fun of her behind her back? No. Force him to say something bad first and agree. All right, but making fun of her behind her back is so much easier. The worst part about being a teacher was when they picked partners, because there was always one kid that got left alone. And you always felt sorry for that kid. So now you got to put that kid with the two girls, and he does nothing. He just stares up into space while they're talking about the giraffe. He still gets 7 out of 10, though, because I marked them the night before, so there's nothing <laughs> you can do about it. What are you doing? I'm taking notes for my article. Being a class clown and where it may lead you. Well, from the looks of things, telling jokes to six people at the blurb. Sounds like a warning. Quiet. The comedian may hear you. You don't want to draw attention to yourself. Excuse me, talking girl. What are you doing? Are you writing down my whole act? No, you seem to know it pretty well already. <laughs> What's this for? I'm writing an article on class clans. Mm. I had it in my third grade class that I wanted to interview, but he's still in detention. <laughs> I'm gonna read this article, seriously. Subscribers? <laughs> I have a pretty good feeling they're probably just gonna skip that page. <laughs> See, you should leave comedy to the professionals. That's why I have the talking stick, where it makes my voice nice and loud. <laughs> Something terrible has happened. I know. It should not be this hard to put pepper on my sandwich. No, for her birthday, I gave my stepmother a coupon book full of things I knew she'd never make me do. You mean like cooking and cleaning? Exactly. But then she handed me this. A coupon for one free day of babysitting. <laughs> this won't be so bad. Your stepmom's old enough to take care of herself. Just put on the TV and help her with her drawings. It's not for her. It's for when my new baby brother slash sister is born. It's her way of telling me I'll have to help out. Then to me, maybe the thing you should do is help out. But I don't know the first thing about taking care of babies. 
I have just the thing. Meet the interbrat. It looks like an egg. Shh. It's not an egg at all. It's an egg-shaped orb. You connect it to the internet to learn how to take care of a real baby. I used it when my parents adopted my baby sister. Your family adopted a sister? Why have I never heard of her? I told you about you, eh? That's a sister? I thought you were sneezing. This would be great. I'll connect you online. Now, the program tracks how well it's rested, fed, and hugged. I don't know. You'll do great. All you need is dedication and smarts, and you have both. You're right. Plus, I'm good looking. With a face like this, I'll be the best interbrat mother ever. <clears throat> Amanda. Don't you wander off like that again. Kids, huh? <laughs> See? Best luck to the professionals? It means that professional comedians are better. I know what it means, but I got laughs too. Well, of course you did, dear. But not everyone can be funny like my Michael. He used to dress in his dad's suit and do impressions of everyone in the family. How did that one of your father go again? Take off my suit. <laughs> My little man. <laughs> oh, you'll be one soon. Michael used to have thin arms like you, and look at him now. With the right foods and a little luck, you'll get there. <laughs> Isn't she great? With the right foods and a little luck, maybe I can be that great too. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Mothers before brothers. It means that your mother has a point. My arms are scrawny. One's getting ready to bruise. La 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 Must have been a rough night. Don't feel bad one time to get Orby to sleep. I read the same bedtime story five times. Didn't help that I fell asleep every time I read it. Not me. I sang half a lullaby and he was out like a light. That's impossible. Wait a minute. According to the data, Orby is well-rested, fed, burped, changed, and bathed. And I'm setting up meetings to the right preschools, not letting him get mixed up with the wrong orbs. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mommy and me synchronized swimming class to get to. <laughs> That's so funny, huh? Just enjoying a slice of sweet comedy pie I baked with my own hands. It's my stand-up routine. Oh. See for yourself. Okay. Why do they call drinks ice cold? Only ice can be ice cold. <laughs> I got five minutes on that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Chemical properties of a solid? Oh yeah, I went there. <laughs> Why do they call them practical jokes? Shouldn't they be called impractical jokes? <laughs> oh, it's even funnier hearing it out loud. <laughs> What's the deal with milkshakes? You don't shake them, it's more of a blending process. Rebecca, <laughs> these jokes, they're, they're really not good. You laughed at them. I smirked at one, was completely stone-faced for the other, and the third, I'm trying to repress. Well, I was funny yesterday at the blurb. You saw. I saw people laughing, but... But nothing. I had them in stitches, and these jokes are every bit as funny. I guess we'll never know. Oh, we'll know. I'm trying them out. At home? Into a hairbrush? In the bathroom? On stage. Into a microphone at the blurb. And you better not be drinking a smoothie while I'm up there. I don't want anything coming out of your nose while you're laughing. Why do they call it a cup of tea? How did that letter get a drink named after it? You never see anyone drinking a cup of you. Whoa. I'm saving that for my encore. Mrs. D just gave me a lecture about playing too many video games. At least that's what I think she said. I was playing a video game. Shh, you'll wake Orby. Let's check your scores. Hmm. You scored higher than anyone. You could be up for an endorsement deal. Think of it. You could be the face of faceless orb parenting. No, thanks. I'm doing this for the love of an egg-shaped child. Let's take a look at this little guy. I told you he's sleeping. OK, Amanda. You're such a good mom, I should leave now before you burnt me. <laughs> Then again. Not a chance. <laughs> Hello, Daddy's assistant. Good job keeping the orb alive. 
Oh, BT Dub, put on your swim cap because you have a mommy and me synchronized swim classes aft. Tito <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Davies heard about my comedy debut and she put all my jokes on index cards. She even changed the wording on some. She's tarnishing my gold. You're right. We should probably just burn them all, you know, to be safe. Ha uh ha, -huh. you're always the funny one. Now it's my turn. Batter up. <laughs> Mrs. D pulled a sandwich right out of my mouth. She said I was spoiling my appetite. Spoiling it? I was challenging it. That's what appetites are for. Mrs. Davies just tried to force me to eat some half-eaten sandwich. Mothers before brothers rules still apply? Just get Michael to say something bad first. It's our only hope. My mother's having so much fun with all of you. <laughs> Not as much as we are. You guys sure you want around this often? I wish he could be around more often. Well, I've got some great news. In order to make us all more efficient, DJ's keeping it for the month. Yeah. Yeah. First off, you all need to stop lollygagging around. The Davies train to efficiency is pulling out of the station. Woo-woo! So what do you think? Woo-woo? Woo! -woo? Woo.